in February, the leaders will have a first discussion on the post-2020 MFF, in other words, the long-term EU budget. The discussion will be important in signaling the EU's priorities for the next decade. One key priority is stemming the flow of illegal migration to Europe, which will require a stable and predictable EU funding instrument. Other new priorities include defense and security, digital and education. Of course, we will need to find a balance between funding new priorities and ensuring that the EU's traditional policies continue in areas such as cohesion and agriculture. What matters is that we make sure that the EU finances priorities which provide solutions to citizens' real concerns. Migration will remain a challenge for many years to come, which is why we want to find a solution that makes sure that the EU, together with national states, can manage future migration flows efficiently and without creating new divisions in Europe. It is possible, but naturally all sides need to compromise. Above all, we must put an end to the destructive emotions surrounding the issue of relocation as they continue to fuel populism and divide Europe. We also discussed the EU Western Balkan Summit in Sofia in May, where we'll aim to strengthen connections both with and within the region. The summit will also aim to boost cooperation in areas of mutual interest, including security and migration.